and even some of the federal government they don't call for understanding for the remove of subsidy, sake of loss of revenue. The Minister of Information and Tourism, Lai Mohammed, when being the young newsman for Abuja, say even though the increase for the petrol, so we don't just still retain the cost of a petrol within the sub region. And Mohammed say the federal government they don't expend like a ten. Point four three trillion naira to take subsidized fuel uh, for year two thousand and uh, and six and uh, nineteen and even have approximated seven hundred and forty three billion yearly. How do we adjust our situation? One of the problems successive governments have been trying to handle is this issue of subsidy. If every government has been trying to achieve this, then you know that. It is in the national interest for us to achieve it. At one point, we must achieve it. We have gotten to that point now, and we've, we, we call for understanding. In spite of the recent increase in the price of fuel to 162 naira per liter, petrol prices in Nigeria remain the lowest in the West Central African sub regions. Below is a comparative analysis of petrol prices in the sub region. In Nigeria, it's 162 naira today. In Ghana, it's 332. In Benin Republic, it is 359. In Togo, 300. In Niger, 346. In Chad, 366. In Cameroon, 449 per liter. In Burkina Faso, 4.43 per liter. In Mali, 4.76 per liter. In Liberia, 2.57. In Sierra Leone, 2.81. In Guinea, 3.63. In Senegal, 5.49 naira per liter. Outside sub region, petrol sells for 211 naira per liter in Egypt and 168 naira per liter in Saudi Arabia. You can now see that even with the removal of subsidy, fuel price in Nigeria remains the cheapest in Africa.